We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. presumed to contain nuclear warheads and are predicted to make impact within the next 15 to 25 minutes. Predicted impact sites include Washington DC, New York City, San Francisco, California, Seattle, Washington, New Orleans, Louisiana, Salt Lake City, Utah, Helena, Montana, Kansas City, Missouri, Rapid City, South Dakota, and Boston, Massachusetts. All persons within 100 miles of the impacted areas should seek out a fallout shelter now. If no such shelter exists in your area, get as far underground as possible. Stay away from windows. Using everyday household objects, put as many walls between you and the outside world as possible. You should get together a basic survival kit, including a flashlight and a hand-cranked or battery-operated radio for use during your stay in the shelter. Stay tuned to local media for further information. Do not venture outside until it is declared safe to do so. The president will be speaking on all stations shortly. Please stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WABC. We will continue to serve the New York City. listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should remain open for emergency use. All residents of the continental United States and southern Canada should seek out a fallout shelter now. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear weapons and can kill you within minutes of exposure. An all-clear siren will be heard when it is safe to exit your shelter. The final nuclear missile launched by Russia struck near Ottawa the capital city of Canada. We are still awaiting further information on that incident. Stay tuned to local media for further updates. This concludes operations under the emergency alert system. All broadcast stations and cable systems may now resume regular programming. 